Yeah. Just try to load him up your old regular way. So at this point, mom would come in and start swinging the whip, right? Yeah. yeah. Or somebody would. Yeah. Then you kind of get to here, and he gets this little thing started here. And then you encourage him with the whip, I guess. Okay. Okay. Just bring him out here, Leanne, because we're not going to get there this, that way. You just go right over here. I want to see a lunger horse to the left and the right. Okay. you to observe what's happening right here. Just kind of watch. Okay. Now kind of watch what's happening here. I want you to look at the way Leanne's posture is and what she's doing. She's backing away from her horse, right? Good. She's pointing the whole time. Okay. I'm going to show you a couple of things. I say the way I do things is the way, just a way to do it. We all know about the concept of pressure and release of pressure, right? He's got a front third, a center third, and a rear third. He's also got a left half and a right half, right? Okay, rarely do, Leanne, is try to control my horse by pushing him like this. If he pushes back, he's going to break my wrists. Different, right? So I want you to notice, I'm going to draw a little triangle on the ground here. It comes straight out from his shoulder, and it comes at a 45 from his hip. You see what I just did there? It belongs to the horse, and it stays with him, okay? About the point of my triangle, I'm going to look at his hip, show him the rope, then spank him. Hey, you look at me while I do Don't you run off. Are you... Don't run off. I said, don't run off. Stand still. Don't go this way either. Blackjack. Blackjack. Move that hip. Now you stand still. Now I'm relaxed. I didn't get mad at him. I gave him a command and he took off running. The consequence for running off was I'm going after your hip hard. Yeah. Yeah, it's okay if you flinch, but I'm relaxed here. My posture straight up and down and relaxed. If you move off without instruction, what do you think's going to happen to you, Blackjack? That's, that's, get your butt away from me. You scare me with face up. Don't go past me. Now, I'm not just spanking him. I'm pre-cueing pre -cueing him that he's about to get spanked. Don't wander off. Stand still. Good boy. Don't wander off. Stand still. Don't, don't get your butt up here by me. It's rude, and it scares me. With me, it might be a little better deal. Don't walk forward. Don't walk forward. He decided standing here with me is a little better deal. He's thinking to himself, what do I have to do to make this guy quit spanking me like that? Well, stand still and I won't. But again, I don't just haul off and spank him. I cock my head, look at his hip. Show him I have a rope in my hand. Show him I know how to swing it. When I'm inside that triangle we talked about a couple minutes ago, this is my safety time. I'll never get after him here. If he decides to walk off someplace, he takes the triangle with him and he puts me outside the triangle. Well, buddy, you put me outside the triangle, I may get aggressive and go after you for it. So don't do that. I want him to try to want to keep, when I look and I, you move, 
I want you to move on the tiniest little cue I can give him. You like standing still now? But when I step out here and I take a look at that hip, you move. So now we're going to think about how to direct his shoulders and get forward motion out of him without pushing him away or leading him off or whatever. So when I'm looking right down the middle of my horse, I want him to go to my left. I want my horse to respond to little changes in my posture or my cueing. So I think in terms of pre-cue my horse. When I want him to go to my left, if you think about this, I'm standing in the middle of the circle I want him to travel around. His front feet are about four or five feet away and his hind feet are about eight feet away. I want him to travel on that eight foot perimeter, not the five foot. So I gotta push his shoulders out to the eight foot mark. So when I point, I'm gonna ask him to go left, show him I have a rope, show him I know how to twirl it, and I'm gonna start to tap him on this shoulder till his shoulder goes out. So blackjack, go to my left or I'll show you the rope, I'll swing the rope, I'll step forward and tap you, tap you, tap you till you leave. I don't care if you just took that one step. But when I point, show you this rope, and I start to swing, yeah, you go, and I'll leave you alone. I'll tap on you. Now, I don't walk backwards like this. He'll just start to follow me. See? What I want to do is walk forward, more or less from behind. My eyes will go into his ribs. I want to push him forward. I'm not doing this, pointing. I've already told him what to do. His job is to keep doing what he was just told to do till he's told to do something different. So swing your hip out of the way. I said your hip. More than that. More than that. Go ahead and swing that hip around. Thank you. Go to my left. Thank you. It's okay if you walk. I want him to respond with the amount of energy I send him. So if I'm all aggressive and assertive, I want him moving out, but if I'm here relaxed, I'm gonna want him to walk. And I'll show you how to fix that here in a minute. When I point to my right, there. Now we're done. Now I get him behind and push him forward with my eyes at the ribs. My feet are going the same direction his feet are going. Then when I change focus to the hip, I said to the hip, more. Don't worry about that four-wheeler or that mule. You comply and think. Send him back. I didn't ask for trotting here. Now you got to go back. I'll give him three strides to fix himself to understand what I'm asking of him here. Just go, go, go. I'll leave you alone if you'll walk. I'll leave you alone if you'll walk. You gotta come back. If you're gonna trot, three strides to fix yourself, or you have to change directions. Three strides. Or go back. Keep going, keep going. That's trotting, so now you gotta fix yourself. I'm, I'm not asking him to react. I'm asking him to respond. Come back, come back. I want you to respond to my posture. And my posture says, let's walk. He's going, oh, wait a minute. This is a lot quieter and a lot easier. So now, I want old Blackjack to back away from me. When he feels me pick this rope up and sees me wiggle my fingers at him like this, he should be backing away at that point. So the first little pre-cue, when you see me wiggle my fingers and feel me tap on that rope, and you feel me wiggle that rope, if you can't understand that, Blackjack, I'll get under your chin. But I want your hip around. I want you looking at me. Get that hip around. And you look right down the line at me. I want to stand up and salute and say, yes, sir, yes, ma'am. When you see my fingers wiggle, and then I tap on that rope, and wiggle that rope. If you don't respond, I didn't ask you to go forward. A little more, please. 
Thank you. Tap on that rope and then wiggle that rope. If you don't respond, there, there he backed up a step. So through the four phases of pressure, four is harsh. We're not hurting him. He's been kicked in the face a lot harder than that by a, a horses. The goal is to get him to respond to wiggling the fingers. Even if that was an accident, I'll, I'll reward him for that. If he wants to look out at his friends, it's a perfect time to start engaging some cues on him. As soon as I saw him think about backing up, I let up on him. Even if it was an accident, when I wiggle my fingers and tap on the rope, it, when I wiggle my fingers and I tap on the rope and I wiggle the rope, what are you supposed to do? That's right. If you want to look out the window, it's a great time for me to kind of engage you here a little bit. That's right. Now, can you remember how to go to my left? Thank you. And just keep going, because I, I didn't tell you to stop. Uh, keep going. I'll only cue him if I have to. Keep going. Keep going, or I'll get after you. Can you swing your hip out of the way? Can you go to my right? Because I asked you to. I mean, my right. My right. Now, we'll ask him to step up on that little bridge. Does he do any trail stuff at all? You always have trouble with what? The bridge. Oh, well, perfect. Here, take a step up there. There you go. Don't don't bring your butt over here. Hey, wake up, wake up. Take a little. Don't don't get your shoulders over. There you go. Give me a baby step. Don't come over here. Don't come over here. Don't come over here. Back away. Build your confidence back here a little bit. There. There you go. Don't come over here. Where do you think your rest place is? Don't come over here. Don't come over here. Don't come over here. If he comes around that corner, I'll just get it. Don't come over here. You're dangerous over here. Just take a half a step up there. Good. Don't come over here. You're okay. There you go, boo. Yeah. Don't shoot that gap. But he came real close to getting himself some huggy lovey time. Okay. Half a step. Bring your butt over. Uh, uh. Okay. Come here. Uh, uh. Uh. There you go. We'll build his confidence here that it's okay. Back off the bridge. We'll even take you back here and give you a little break. Oh, stop right there. There you go. Give me a step back. Give me just one foot. Just one foot. One foot. Just one. Hey, come back. Come here. Just one, one foot off. Just one foot off. That's enough. That's enough. Get. Look, just one foot. I just want one foot off. There. Just one foot. There. No. There. No. There. That's what I'm taking. Step. For one. Not that you can count. But where, where do I leave you alone? I leave you alone there, don't I? Hmm? Okay, back to seven. There you go. Good tool. You want to back away, I'll let you. I'll kind of drag you around a little bit. You gotta keep moving up. You gotta keep moving up. Don't, don't get yourself like you're gonna be bratty with me. There you go. You know where we're going. 
You do what you're told to do, nothing more. Ooh, nothing less. Head up to that trailer and jump in. Don't shut that, shoot that cat. Take a break. like we did on that bridge a minute ago. We'll back him out when we want him to back out, but let him think he can rest right here. But if he makes his own decisions, it's not, it's not a good thing. Put it. yourself here and you want to get kicked or something. A friend of mine who's a, a master horseman, he and another guy were trying to load a horseman trailer one time. And the other guy's a master horseman too. Now right here. You like coming out of there? Here. How do you like this? And uh, he got in behind that trailer. The trailer and that horse kicked him right in the chest and killed him just in one shot. So. He made his own decision to come out of there before we told him to. Get in there. Are you 
sure that's what you want to do? I will take a Instructed to do so. 